Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here is the zeros of even and odd degree polynomials. So when looking at even and odd degree polynomials, um, we're just going to kind of base this off our two parent graphs. All right, that's really all, I'll, all I want to deal with is kind of looking at the parent graphs of a polynomial. So let's look at our first one. That means my marker's dead. All right, uh, so we have f of x equals x squared, right? And when looking at this, there's a couple different ways we could have our solutions. Now, what it says is zeros of an even and odd degree polynomials. So this is a polynomial of what degree? Even. Is it still even if I do this? Right, right? Because remember, we look at the largest degree of the polynomial. When it's in descending order, we look at our largest degree and say, all right, it, that largest degree is still even, so this is an even function, right? Um, so this is an even function. When you have an even function, you're going to have an even, um, even number of roots. Even number of roots or zeros, um, depending if we're dealing with an equation or a function. But you're either going to have an even number of roots, zeros, or of x-intercepts, all right? Or none at all. And let's look at an example of that. Ladies and gentlemen, here's an equation. Is that a quadratic? Yes. And you can notice that that has two solutions to it, right? Two x-intercepts, two roots, zeros, whatever we're dealing with. So that is an example of having it too, right? And guess what? If I have a, um, something to the fourth power, you can have up to four zeros, but you're gonna, it's going to be even. So when I, if I say, um, well, let's go and take a look at one where there's no solutions. So you guys can say here, on this equation, my quadratic, it never touches, does it? It never crosses the x-intercept. So there's no root solution, zeros, or x-intercepts for an equation that looks of that value. So what we're trying to tell you is, when you have zeros or f of x for any even number, you're going to have an even number of zeros or none at all. So in this case, you can see x squared. That produces two solutions. If I have x to the f of x to the fourth, that means the only possible number of solutions I can have is either 4, 2, or 0. All right, and we're going to learn why it can't be more than four. We'll talk about that later. But you guys need to understand it has to be an even number or none at all. Okay? Does that make sense? So your only possible solutions are four, two, and zero if it was like f of x. If I say f of x raised to the fourth, therefore you know automatically the number of solutions is either four, two, or zero because it either has to be an even number or none at all. So let's go and take a look at an odd. Right? That's odd, right? And then is it still odd if I do 3x squared minus 7? Is it still odd? Still odd function? Yes, sir. Yeah, because remember our degree is always talking about our leading, po leading monomial with the largest degree, which in this case is our x cubed, where the degree is, is 3, which is odd. So when we have an odd, a polynomial with an odd degree, we are going to have an odd number of root of roots or zeros or x intercepts okay depends on all what we're dealing with there's pretty much looking at a lot of the same things just depending if we're dealing with an equation or a uh, function so odd number of roots and let's go and take a look at let's go and take a look at two examples here is our parent graph right that's what the parent graph looks like. And how many solutions does it cross at? One, right? And that's obviously odd. Um, let's take a look at maybe another example of what a graph could look like. One, two, three. And here is an example. So here's an example of f of x, x cubed only having one solution. Here's an example of having three solutions. But the, just the main important thing you guys need to understand is the solutions are all going to be odd. Right? If I have an x to the cubed, that means my only possible solutions are 3 or 1. It's going to have a solution. 
It's not like an even where you could have no solutions. You are, re you are guaranteed to have at least one solution, and that solution is also guaranteed to be odd when your degree is odd. Does that make sense? Kind of, a little bit, going through. So if I said, if I give you a polynomial x to the seventh, right, you automatically know if the leading term or the leading degree is x to the seventh, you know that the possible zeros are seven, five, three, and one, right? You could have all those different types of solutions. Yes? Right, it cannot be an even number of roots. It's going to be an odd number. Okay? Very good?